Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, Ninja Prime here. I hope you're all doing well. Um, playing uh, one of my courses again. I will split this video up into two videos. So the first, the front nine, and then the back nine. This is NP Zoiler Tour. Uh, 18 holes. And let's see if I can actually do any better. Okay. Okay, I think yeah, this actual course was based on a previous course of mine. I used it as a template that was called NP Sophia Heights. Uh, this is the first hole. It's a par 387 yards. It's already got a stroke index of two. So this is reachable. It's quite elevated, 24 feet. Let's just make sure. In fact, just bear with me one second, guys. Let me move that down a bit. Okay. Sorry about that. Just had to move the uh, label over. And that's not what I wanted. Okay, no problems. Now this particular course um, is the first time I successfully actually used um, properly, properly, proper, properly planting trees and actually hiding them into the landscape, as you can see from here. Okay. So this is, this is slightly humped. Notice where I place the actual um, pin itself. It's almost like on the just beyond the crest of that hump. This is after all. Ooh, if I'd missed that, it would have gone on and actually gone off the green. Okay, let's look at the scorecard. This is the front nine. So it's 3,629. I am, of course, playing off the gold tees and pin set four. It's not too bad. That's number two. As you can see, I've included crowds in this one. That's basically what all, if you see any of my um, courses and they have tour at the end of them, it basically means it can be played in society mode as I've included the crowds and everything. Okay, this is another difficult pin. This is reachable in two. Let's just see if I can actually do this. That's quite a slow stroke. And that's not what I wanted. And it will probably bounce into the snow. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so we're in the light rough. Where's this going to take me? That should give me enough. 96, that's okay. So that's perfect, perfect. Well, does it have enough legs? Nope. I was hoping that would go a little bit further, but not to worry. That should be for a birdie. Ok, 
Okay, I've had to take my headphones off because they were really beginning to get hot around my ears. I've set the mic up on the headphones so that it's facing up. It's I've done a few tests and it appears to be picking me up, so I'm happy with that. What's my scorecard say? Okay, that's not too bad. A birdie for that one. <clears throat> okay, this is number three. This is an elevated green. And this is actually quite difficult to get to. I'm surprised this is a part four. Past this. You can see these were because these are elongated um, tees. I've, I've found it difficult to actually level them off properly, but I can do that for a different another time if I decide to redo this course again. It's not too bad, I've landed in the middle of the fairway. You can see the planting on the left hand side. On the original version of this game, which is the Sophia Heights, there wasn't that many, as many um, rock planting in this area. I just decided to add more. I had enough. Um, in fact, when I switched this down, I forget which one this is. I think this is either country. I think this is countryside. And I think the Sophia one was alpine. I'm not sure, but when I swapped themes, it actually reduced the amount of objects on there. Although I did have to remove quite a few. Some of them were on the actual obscuring the. Um, the T's and stuff. It seems to be working fine. I should reach that. I'm not. Let me just. No. Let me go for this one. The 9 iron and see if I can actually make it. Compensate. I might have to compensate slightly. Aim more to the left. But the wind is taking me 5 miles to the left anyway. So let's give this a go. I've done a slow, so that might work out okay for me actually. Now thinking about this, I should have really put um, an incline on the back so that it brings it back to the green. Okay, there's, there's a slight movement here from right to left. So let's put this. Oh, that's not enough. I missed the birdie opportunity there. Yeah, I did. That was my bad. Okay. This is the fourth hole, as it says there. I did a lot of... Um, tweaking for this one because originally in the Sophia Heights one this actually goes off by pointing in the right direction and it goes off in that direction <laughs> goes off Ooh. okay I just messed about with the mic then but it actually goes the original one actually goes off to the right if I show you here actually went off in that direction but I decided to change this up a bit add a few more features as they say I did a lot more rock planting as you can see and I put a bridge over there I just felt that in the original one I wasn't utilizing the back here too much so I decided to change that, change it up a little bit. Okay, so this is going to land me here, but this is elevated, so let me let's go for it. What have we got to lose anyway, yeah? Right, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank 
go for that. I did not want to fall into the out of um, out of bounds area. Okay, another elevated green. One slightly to the left to right. That's another perfect, perfect shot by ten. I have a tendency to um, slightly hit it to the left for some reason, right at the very end of the stroke. Again, this should be fine. Hopefully, that's do you say par? I'm sure, that's a birdie. Yeah, it is a birdie. Okay, on to the fifth. Now, the fifth was changed a lot. Because it's basically now starting from where the, the fourth green was or finished. Again, I did a lot of planting here, a lot of rock work. This is quite a strange one. I mean, this would never exist in real life, but it's just one of these fantasy aspects that I tend to put into my courses. It seems to be quite a popular thing. This is not an ellipse. This is actually a lower one. So the green is a lot lower. 65 feet, in fact. Now, you out of bounds here. If you notice there on the left, where it says 189 yards, left of that was where the original green was, number four. Sorry guys, I suffer really badly from hay fever and my eyes just start to tear up or well up every time. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, I give the player the option to hit it straight there. You're going to have to take, uh, be brave about this anyway. You just got to be careful because you can overhit this. And what I tend to do is give it a little bit of a, a fade as well. Here we go. Okay, fast and perfect. Hopefully, yes. got over that ridge as well so that's giving me 300 and over 340 well exactly 340 340 yards but now I put myself into a little bit of predicament thankfully I hadn't gone further I think this is I need to club down twice on this one I can never right here we go Fast. No, that's not what I wanted. No, I should have just clubbed down once rather than two. Now I need to make it. Uh, too much, too much. Damn it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, how are we doing for time? 13 minutes. Goodness me. We're going a bit slower than I anticipated. Okay, this is number six. Again, this number six has been uh, tweaked a lot. I reworked the back. Also, you'll notice that T itself, the T area, I added all this. So the T sits up here, it's almost like a fortress. And that's the sort of, in fact, it was almost like a trench encampment, encampment sort of thing. I think I've got away with it. That is, that's cool. That reminds me whether I can actually do this. Do you want to 
turn no 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 and broadcast live no don't want to do that now the keys for some reason the keys on this don't work it's because I'm not that's better seem to work. I'll do what I want it to do. Okay, let's get back onto here. This is a fairly long part five, 580. Just be careful. So there is, as like I said, I do have a tendency to... Uh, okay, that, my friends, is not what I wanted to do, because that's given me a lot to do. Let's see if I can get back on the fairway, which I can. You should be able to hit this, hit the green in two, which I have done before in the past. This is always a, this is a birdie opportunity. Most par fives are birdie opportunities, but not the way I play. See, I'm not really a player, I'm more a designer than anything else. Again, it's virtually the right length, but wrong direction. So that's a par. Okay, I missed a birdie opportunity there. Coming up to the seventh. Perfect again, slightly to the slight draw. I don't know what they call it that? They call that a baby draw or something like that. I think it's something that Tiger Woods does a lot of. His natural um, shot is a baby draw, which is not a bad thing to do, actually. It's above my feet again. Take me all this time to realize that if it is above your feet, you basically need to. I think it's aim more to the right. If it's below your feet, aim more to the left. I think, unless I got that the wrong way around. Well, me, I probably have. <clears throat> okay, well, we're gonna. Again, this is quite a lot of movement from right, left to right. Will that make it? No, it won't. For the bogey. There we go for the bogey. <laughs> I've never really understood that golf term. Okay, number eight. Number eight are quite enjoy or I enjoyed making this one because originally I had a bit of a problem with this because there's there's quite severe um, as you can see from here elevation drops 134 feet from the T so in theory if I aim for here if you look it's 96 in theory, that should make it over those bunkers, which it does. So what's that? Three. It's over 340. Over 350. Will it make 360? No. Nope. 356. I'll take that any day. Okay, let me dial. Ooh, I cannot dial this down. 
I'm going to have to do that so it's below my feet therefore I have to aim more left was it right I can never remember I think it is left yep is left open too much left I think There is a little bit of movement here, but it virtually cancels each other out. There you go. <clears throat> I'm actually putting okay. Right, ninth hole. Once again, and I have the banners. Ninth hole crosses the first one. what I can do with this. This is 7 iron. Uh, I just need to hit that fairly straight, which I haven't done. Mind you, because I hit it so slow, it faded it. Because I think the, I think if you come down in the follow through, it comes down with an open face. So then you'll have a tendency to fade the ball, or cut it, or slice it, and that was the most stupid stroke. Let's try that again. My mouth is jaw is sore at the moment, sorry guys. Will that go? Yes. And that's a good putt. My pill putt, still minus one. Okay, guys, that is the front nine. I'll see you for the next time for the uh, back nine. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.